Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome on back. So I am back here today with a uh, haul from Crinkle Candles 2024 uh, Easter collection. Um, all new scents, mostly new scents. Um, some have the same names as last year, but they are uh, indeed different. So these launched the other day, I placed my order, um, actually placed three orders because by the time I got to it, the large of the uh, lemon marshmallow or lemon sugar marshmallow was already sold out. So I ordered the smaller ones. Then they put more back online. So then I placed another order for that. And I said, I forgot to place an order for the Easter brunch. I think it was. I placed a third order for that. Uh, anywho, <laughs> um, they all arrived uh, yesterday. Um, I'm burning one back there right now. That is the um, two wick medium jar version, if you will of the Easter, of the um, lemon sugar marshmallow. Um, spoiler alert, I think it's the star of the collection. Now, I did not order every single one. Um, I ordered all of them except for two, uh, the chocolate eggs and the Easter bunnies, because they're chocolate scents, and uh, I know for a fact um, I won't burn those. Um, I had the the chocolate one last year. It's like a chocolate mixed with a coconut. Um, the notes look to be the same, but I'm not really into the whole um, chocolate coconut deal. Um, so most of these are available on Kringle's website right now. You can save 15%. Uh, use my code Philly Candleman, 15% off your whole purchase. Um, that'll be in the description below. There are some that are sold out, like the jelly bean is sold out, the lemon... Sugar Marshmallow is sold out. Um, Carrot Cake, another star of the collection, is sold out. Um, but I am told there should be some restocks on some of these. So, um, yeah. And like I said, I have the Lemon Sugar Marshmallow. We'll get into that. That's a, a smaller vessel. Like, this is a different one. But a uh, smaller vessel, which is not sold out. Anywho. Um, and before we get started, I wanted to showcase this. Uh, you know, I told my son I was recording tonight, and I had my whole Easter background. He had just done this artwork. It's always like, oh, Daddy, you can put it in the background. I don't care. Um, I don't have a good way of displaying it in the background, so I figured I would just show it to you guys. Um, he was so proud. He made this himself uh, in school. His favorite character is, of course, Eeyore. He's had an Eeyore uh, subject since he was a baby, and that is Eeyore sticking his tongue out. So... Um, he wanted to show show that off, so I wanted to make sure that I uh, fulfilled my promise and would show it off to everyone there, and uh, I'll let him know let him know that tomorrow. Uh, all right, so uh, let's get into it here. So I don't even know where to start. All right, so let's go with the two cents I did not get: chocolate eggs. It's available in a large country candle. Oh, and by the way, stick around because I do have um, a list of uh, some new candles coming out Thursday, tomorrow. So uh, I will go over that. There's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. No, 12. I can't count. Anyhow, there's a lot. They're all three wicks. Um, so chocolate eggs, did not purchase that. Large two wick country candle jar, brown wax, all soy wax with uh, giant eggs going around the side there. Um, that one's got chocolate brownie, so it's a top note, frosted butter, not frosted, frosted batter, a frosted batter as the mid note, bottom notes of vanilla and chocolate chips. It does sound um, decadent, but again, not my, not my thing there. Um, and the other one was Easter bunnies. This is the one that I think is at least similar, if not the same from last year. Um, and that's going to be in this size jar. The two wick 12 ounce. Um, the two wick 12 ounces are $26. The Kringle, I'm sorry, the country are $31. And then the large two wick Kringles are $34. And they're absolutely beautiful. Um, so Easter Bunny, sweet chocolate morsels, um, creamy coconut. That's what's a little weird for me. Uh, mid notes of rich rose petals, dewy greens, sheer jasmine. And then uh, bottom notes of sweet musk, vanilla bean, and golden sandalwood. Those are two I did not get. Um, so let's get into it. Let's start with this one here. Let's go in order. Um, <laughs> Jelly Bean Jubilee. Now, 
if you guys remember way back, this was 2019, I think it was. Kringle did release some medium two-wick jars um, for Easter. They had, like, Easter grass, which was great. Um, I think it was, like, jasmine rain or some, something jasmine. They had um, one of them was jelly beans, right? It was just a, a jelly bean fragrance there. Um, so this is their new version of jelly beans called Jelly Bean Jubilee. And by golly, the label, these jars are uh, really, really impressive. So these are, they're not mercury glass they're splatter right silver paint splattered so it's a very random pattern it goes all the way down and here there's a texture right you feel the paint texture and on the inside they're colored like right? they're painted right uh, very similar to the halloween jars so they're painted and uh, they actually have labels this time so instead of just having the k on the front um, we have full labels there and you can tell under here you can feel the paint as well so take a look at that label. Um, this, this is a like a pink. I'm not sure if it's showing up right, but it's a, it's a pale pastel pink. All the pastels here, I, I think they're beautiful. Um, all white soy wax on the Kringle jars. So I'm getting like a lot of cherry in here. Um, it's a fruity, it's a fruity mess <laughs> in a good way, I guess you could say. Uh, it's not for me. I will probably never burn this candle, but it is very beautiful to look at. Um, that's the other thing about these jars, right? You can look at them like this. You can just like this. Or they're even really nice just looking like this, right? Candlelight will will, will um, show through. But um, And these have like speckles on the jelly beans here too. It says in here, bright citrus lemon and tangerine is a top note. Again, I'm getting that cherry coming through, like a cherry, not like a, sort of like a cherry limeade, um, but not, right? There's blueberry in here, like a sugary blueberry. But those fruits are coming in over the citrus notes for me on cold. And then it has in here um, vanilla sugar, fruit medley, and licorice highlight. Now, when I'm thinking of licorice highlight in this, I'm not thinking, you know, the black licorice, right? I'm thinking more along the lines of like the red shoestring licorice. That's what I'm kind of getting out of this. It's a little tart. This is a, a little tarty scent, like a, uh, like a zesty tart. So there you have that one. Again, really beautiful candle um, jar. So we have that. All right, let's go with Easter brunch. So Easter brunch is orange, like a tangerine color there. And we have oh, my favorite flower, a little bit of hyacinth there. Unfortunately, there's no hyacinth in the notes, but uh, we do have tulip. Um, this could be dyed hard boiled eggs or just, you know, decorate hard egg decorations, right? Um, so this is Easter brunch. So, Kringle's been on an almond kick lately. Um, this is like the third candle I can count um, in less than like six months, maybe, um, that they went almond heavy on. But the almond in here is mixed with like um, fresh baked bread, buttery croissant, right? Uh, so, you get the almond, an almond, a uh, sweet almond with this uh, fresh baked bread feel vibe um not the fresh baked bread uh reserve candle more along the lines of the fresh fresh baked bread bath and body works candle that's the bread note and i'm pulling out of this with that almond note <clears throat> now this one says sweet almond butter vanilla cream vanilla basic candle but it's like bread fresh baked bread meets almond so there we have that one. All right, uh, let's go with Easter Blooms, one of my favorites. I ordered two of these. Um, no surprise there, right? <laughs> it's a floral candle. Um, baby Blue, Robin's Egg Blue, right? Very Easter, very spring Eastery. 
Okay. Um, and on the front here, we have the tulips. We have the bunny and egg decorations. I'm going to say Easter blooms on it. Oh, yeah. So this is like you're walking into a cooler section in the grocery store, supermarket, whatever, that has a florist or you're walking into a florist right into the cooler area. You're getting the tulips, you're getting the roses, you're getting all those um, spring floors. You're not really getting hyacinth, right? Bummer. Um, but they don't really do cut flowers and hyacinth, right? They do like the carnations, the tulips, um, the roses, you know, baby's breath, all that kind of stuff. But I'm getting a mixture of the green, you know, like fresh greens, like baby, baby's breath, carnation, greener note there. Mixing with a little bit of rose. Um, <clears throat> Mostly rose um, in here. Not a strong rose. There's tulip note. You know, some I know tulip's not listed in here, but it's there. Or something's making it feel like tulips. But um, if you like a fresh cut bouquet of flowers, lilies, right? Not intense lily, toned down lily. I love a straight lily fragrance. Give it to me all day long. Um... Yeah, there's a, there's a floral fragrance coming out too. Um, <laughs> anyhow, so Easter blooms there. If you like your florals, right? Um, this is for you. I know florals are not for everyone, but they say here: fresh green, ro rose water, peony, rose, jasmine, violet, floral, wood, and musk. So, yeah. Again, I ordered two of these. Um, we'll go on to this one here. So this is sunlit daffodils. Now, if this candle looks familiar, give you five seconds to figure out what this looks like. Remember Yankee Candles, um, Splash of Rain, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Splash of Rain. Have one over there. Same teal, right? Same teal kind of color. Had daffodils on it, but they were uh, white and orange ones. This has daffodils on it, yellow and orange, right? Um, a little homage back to uh, it, whether it be intentional or unintentional, back to the good old days of Yankee Candle. <sighs> and that was a more aquatic fragrance. Um, this is more a floral fragrance here. Oh uh, man, I ordered one of these. I need to get, when some of these other ones come back in stock, um, I need to place an, another order for this. I love the daffodils going all the way around. <clears throat> but yeah, if you like um, daffodils, this is probably closer to, you know, when you go and get Easter plants right at the, at the firehouse or your local garden center, and you like, get the pots of hyacinths and the tulips and the, the daffodils. This is more like that, right? There's a little earthy note in here. But again, it is floral up front. Um, daffodil floral. Uh, a little jasmine in here. Uh, an absolutely stunning, beautiful fragrance. So they say here, grapefruit, floral, green, fruity, violet, jasmine, and musk. Forget that grapefruit note. It's not there. All right, uh, let's go with, oh, I should have ordered more than one. Damn. Um, but it should be restocking. Is carrot cake, and by God, this is—I love carrot cake. Um, my wife hates it. Uh, my son loves it. My daughter, my daughter will eat anything. Um, <laughs> the facts. Um, man, this is uh, so good. This smells like you're eating fresh carrot cake. Right, you get the spice note in here. You get the um. The, the icing, right? The cream cheese icing going on here. It says vanilla icing, but man, you can really pull it apart there. But the, the carrot cake adds heart. You can smell the little carrot morsels in the cake. Um, now this one, I'm not picking up any raisin, right? Like some people put raisins in there in the carrot cake. Um, I'm not necessarily picking up any raisin note in here. I'm getting more of like the pure cake with the carrots cut in there and the frosting on it um 
basic, just carrots all the way around, right? Um, beautiful color orange here, right? Um, like the font. Um, yeah, if this comes back in stock, I highly, if you are, and you guys know I'm not a bakery fan, but this just smells so damn realistic. I, I like it a lot. Uh, if it comes back in stock, I do highly recommend you you pick this up here. Man. Um, the notes say carrot cake, spice, vanilla frosting, right? Your cinnamon, nutmeg. Beautiful. Um, puts Yankee Candles old carrot cake to shame. It really, really does. Um, next up here we have Easter Egg Hunt. Uh, that's, so it's just this two wick here. It's, I have the two wick of the Easter money is going or the Easter chicks going. Um, so let's talk about this vessel here. $26, 12 ounces. Um, $34, 22 ounces. Now, the thing is, if you don't want to go all in on a large 22 ounce jar, whether it's sold out and you might miss a restock, um, because lemon marshmallow is in this two wick. Um, it's the same uh, opening, right? So these have the same width openings on them there, right? You know, the 12 ounce might be a little wider, but uh, so, and there's two wick too, so. Really, if you don't want to go all in, um, you can certainly, you know, what's the burn time of this one? 40 to 60 hours. That's a respectable time. So if you just want to have one for, you know, Easter season um, and reuse this beautiful jar, um, which is what I would do because uh, it's painted on like everything else. Um, I don't know what the price comparison comes down to. 26 versus 34 and price per ounce. Um, but... It does come with a gold lid, so, you know, at least it does have a lid, not just a dust cover, like some of them did before. Um, but, yeah, so if you're not thinking about going all in on these 150-hour candles, you want a 40 to 60 ounce, um, we'll talk about more. We'll talk about more about the uh, that one uh, when I get to it next. But So this is Easter Egg Hunt. I'm not sold on the fragrance. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know where it fits. Because it says here, bergamot, tangerine, violet, rose, herbal notes, ambergris, patchouli, and sandalwood. Doesn't scream Easter to me. It's a little of a floral candle there. Um, I was hoping to kind of have a little bit more green grass note to it. Because Kringle used to have a, a bang in green grass, right? They had the, the field of clover. Plus, they actually had a candle called green grass back in the day. <sighs> yeah, I, the bergamot's throwing it off. I, like I said, I'm not sold on this fragrance. So, I'll burn it and see how it goes. But not 100% sold on it. I like the label, though. You know? I like the label. All right, now we have... I think it's the overall star of this collection, um, scent-wise, color-wise, label-wise, right? We have the peeps on it. It is, of course, lemon sugar marshmallow. Hmm. Um, <laughs> very nice yellow. And I kind of, you know, as much as I like, the, like this label, it's a little busy for me. Um, I like this. I like that. On this one um so last year they came out with this candle i think it was i think it was called the same thing lemon sugar marshmallow or lemon marshmallow whatever it was um and it turned out to not be that lemony <laughs> um but this year um this puts homeworks lemon lemon cello cupcake um uh, this overpowers that as like to me, a number one lemon fragrance, lemon bakery fragrance. I've had this 12 ounce going. This thing is scenting up the whole damn house. Um, even when it's not even like fully pulled. Um, I had it earlier, it wasn't fully pulled either. And it was scenting the whole house. 
Like that's why I said it's the same opening. So really, there's nothing to be, you know. If that's all. If that's all you want. It's all you want, right? Um, but I ordered two of these when they came back in stock. So I have four total, which is going to last me um, some time because I love lemon fragrances. I do love lemon bars. I do love lemon bakery fragrances. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh. So you get the, you get the lemon, like the, the, the sugary, fresh, sweet lemon um, bakery, like with the pastry note in here, vanilla pastry and lemon zest. Man, a little bit of sugar in mix in here. It is, if you like lemon cello cupcake from Homeworks or, um, I don't think Yankee has a real lemon bakery. They had a Meyer lemon, but that was more like a pure lemon. Um, but this is just, you've got to get it <laughs> if you are on the fence about it. Um, I feel like I'm going to a cupcake. Get this. Get this. Get it in that version if you want. It's strong. Same scent. I have no doubt that this will be just as strong as that, if not stronger. But with it being the same opening, I think it's going to be equal. Equal strength there. Um, I don't think they had to do. Uh, they probably the only thing they had to adjust, maybe, and I have to take a look. Um, would be the wicks on it, because um, the wicks on. Well, they're all using these these new ones here, but like, this one has like a thick strand um, braided cotton in here, hundred percent cotton. All right, so that's what I have for you on that. Again, they're available on CoolCandle.com. Philly Candleman, stage is 15%, use that code, Philly Candleman. Now we're going to get into the three wicks here. So Kringle is going to hit us hard over the next um, month uh, with new releases. So here I have 12, 12 new releases, three wicks. Uh, they're not all brand new fragrances. Most of them are. So these are going to be $26, um, say 15% with Philly Candleman, um, launching... Thursday, February 15th, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we have a apple leaf candle that is crisp apple, fresh and fruity. Bartlett pear, this is the one I'm gonna be going after. Um, Bath and Body Works back in the whole Slotkin and Co days, they had a Bartlett pear candle that was amazing. Um, I used to mix that with a sweet pea candle. <laughs> Just good stuff all around. Um, so Bartlett pear is crisp, juicy, sweet, fresh pear. Crushed blueberries. So this is another one. Homeworks and Kringle, they are one and two, two and one. Um, they can be interchanged. Um, blueberry fragrances. They do the best blueberry fragrances I've ever seen. Um, none of that fake nonsense from Yankee and, um, and uh, Bath and Body Works. Um, so crushed blueberry is berry, juicy, summery, and fresh blueberries. If this blueberry note is anything like what they use in blueberry muffin, forget about it. You got to get it. Um, fresh watermelon. I think they did this before. It's a refreshing watermelon, light and fruity. Uh, then we have lemon meringue pie. I will be going after this one as well. Sweet, creamy, zesty, comforting pie crust. The pie crust right there is the key note. Um, most, fragrant, most pie fragrances when they come out, they don't ever list the pie crust. So this will be interesting to see what happens. Um, passion fruit punch. And these are all fruity. So like these are really not my wheelhouse. So um, citrus, zesty, tropical, passion fruit, lemonade. Mm, okay. Um, pineapple cilantro. Um, Yankee has that. I think Kringle had this pineapple cilantro a few years back. Um, pineapple, tropical, citrusy, herbaceous, and tangy. Uh, pink grapefruit, citrusy, bright, tart, energizing, and grapefruit. Again, I don't think that's um, that's new. That's not new, I don't think. Um, Patanga peach. Uh, juicy peach. Juicy peachy. Uh, wild and tropical. So there's that. Uh, raspberry jam. Now this sounds interesting. Okay, raspberry, fruity, sugar, and soft vanilla. Uh, strawberry patch, not new, just came out um, a few weeks ago. Fresh strawberry, summery, citrusy, citrus and fruity, and then royal cherry, also not new. 
uh, rich cherries, tart, juicy, and sweet. So there you have it, folks. That is going to be launching on the 15th of the month. And like I said, Kringle is going to be hitting us hard with a lot of things um, in the next month. So um, stay tuned. I'll have all the information when I can share it. Um, all right, guys. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Have you gotten your Easter collection? Have you ordered it? What do you think about the three wicks? Um, here's a question. <laughs> Are they doing too much? Honest question, right? We already had one launch so far this year, um, which was the these guys, right? You know, this collection, like the limited edition country collection. So those came out. We've got Easter. We've got uh, the Three Wicks, and there's a few more. So um, what do you guys think? Uh, are they putting too much out? Do you like having all this variety? Um, this food for thought, right? Any feedback? Um, I'm sure they would welcome um, to figure out everything. So, right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all real soon. Stay safe out there.